Mabuhay! Welcome to Learning with Albine. I'm your guru, Albine. This is another special episode as I try to motivate you in learning Tagalog. I usually come to you live here on YouTube, but because I care so much about you, you who wish to bring your skill in Tagalog to a new level, listen to what I have to say. But if you're a regular viewer and waiting for another regular episodes, please hang on there. I'll show up live with Bruce pretty soon. Or is it your first time in this channel? If you wish to see more of Tagalog language tutorials or general Tagalog practice, consider subscribing to my channel. And please hit the bell notification button so you won't miss the future new episodes. Our session for today is to share with you some tips on how to start speaking Tagalog. Are you ready? Let's begin. Five ways to start speaking Tagalog. In Tagalog, paano magsimulang magsalita ng Tagalog? Una, makinig at gayahin. Again, una, makinig at gayahin. In English, listen and imitate the sound of Tagalog. How would you like to do that? First, learn the sounds of vowels. A, E, I, O, U. And also, identify the sounds of old alphabet. A, ba, ka, da, e, ga, ha, i, la, ma, na, nang, o, pa, ra, sa, ta, wa. Yeah. And also, you can imitate the sound even if you don't know the meaning of what you just heard. Just speak it right away. Another way to do that is also listen to Filipino songs. Pinoy's love ballads. So, start loving ballads as well. Words are easier to follow. Pangalawa, magbasa at manood. In English, read and watch Tagalog short stories that interest you. Focus on the input. Read, watch, see how natives talk among themselves. Also, start with children's stories, fables, tales, or learning channels for children. Another thing, gradually pick the genre that you want as you move towards young adult or adult contents. It can be art, food, current events, history, businesses. And most of all, avoid subtitles. If you wish to start uh, watching Filipino contents, but uh, you have difficulty catching up on some words because you think that uh, Filipino natives, I speak faster. And uh, my advice for you is to change the speed of your YouTube video, for example. Let me demonstrate it for you. So I picked one example. The title itself says, Ang alamat ni Mariang Sinukuan ng Bundok Arayat. Let's start playing it. Ang alamat ni Mariang Sinukuan. So, I think that it's best for you to to set or to change the setting of your playback speed. So, it's uh, 
in this case it's set to normal so you can slow it down a little bit let's choose uh, 0.5 let's try 0.5 here and let's play it no unang panahon ay may nakatirang isang enkantada sa bundok ng arayat siya ay napakaganda ang katawan ay baling kinitan at ang buhok ay kulot at mahaba well if that is very slow for you let's uh, speed it Let's speed it up a little bit. Let's choose a uh, point seventy five and let's play it. Mahaba ang kanyang pilit mata at malantik ang kilay. Ang ilong niya ay katamtama ng tangos. Ang labi ay malarosas. Kung anong ganda ng kanyang anyo, ay lalong maganda ang kanyang ugali. Siya ay mahabagin at maunawain at laging handang magbigay sa kanyang kapwa. Okay, I hope you appreciate my demonstration. Pangatlo, magsanay sa mga larawan. In English, Practice Tagalog through pictures. Describe a picture to yourself or to other people. Learn some nouns and adjectives. Let me demonstrate how you can do that. May nakikita akong mga upuan sa labas at mayroon ding mga lamesa. May mga tao rin. Magbilang tayo. Bilangin natin ang mga tao. Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima, anim, pito, walo. Walo ang mga tao. Ang isang tao ay nakaupo. Yung isang tao ay nasa likuran, halos hindi makita. Siguro uupo sila sa mga upuan dito. Bilangin natin ang mga upuan. Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima, anim, pito. Pito ang mga upuan. Tamang-tama, walo ang mga tao at yung isa ay may sarili na siyang upuan. Pito, kasya sila dito. Sa labas na lang sila kakain para makita nila ang mga puno. Ang dahon ng mga puno ay berde. Kaya lang siguro mainit sa labas. Enhance your speaking in Tagalog by talking to yourself. You can face the mirror and also learn how to break the syllables on a Tagalog word. Learn the colors, pula, itim, verde, dilaw, and others. Learn the parts of the body, ulo, braso, kamay, mata, bibig. Learn uh, sections of the room or space. Labas, loob, kusina, kainan. And also you may learn things in nature like uh, puno, dahon, bato, aso, pusa. This way, you'll find some nouns and adjectives. Compare one object with another. Pangapat. Palaguin ang vocabulario and also palaguin ang Tagalog mo. In English, grow your Tagalog.
Tagalog vocabulary. Identify the most frequently used words. Find the difference between a particle and a word with meaning. There are lots of particles in Tagalog that can be challenging. Just take it easy. Also, build your own dictionary, spreadsheets, index cards, dedicated notebook. Write down some new words every day. One more thing, say your daily activities in Tagalog. Find a good note-taking technique. Example, Cornell Method, if you know what I mean. Panglima, maki pamuhay sa Tagalog. In English, immerse in Tagalog language. Talk to your Filipino family in Tagalog. Find a Tagalog native friend. Find a mentor. Visit Filipino shops in your town or province or state. Talk to the staff in Tagalog. And if you may, you can also visit the Philippines. Another advice that I'd like to give you is you may see my playlist. Notice the playlist called Conversational Tagalog. The Half Continuing Saga of a Half Pinoy. Find the link in the description. Another playlist that I'd like to recommend to you, Conversational Tagalog, Volume 1. Find the link in the description. Another playlist, Conversational Tagalog, Volume 2. Find the link in the description as well. And of course, because you've stayed with me up to this point, you earn some bonus. Never hung up on Tagalog grammar. That's the best part. That's my bonus for you. Just speak it. Filipinos may laugh at you, but ignore them. Spend time to those who care for you. Keep exchanging with them until you learn from your mistakes. But find the humor in your own naivety. Start a conversation by asking questions. Learn how to answer the frequently asked questions. I would also like to recommend another playlist. Please find how to ask questions in Tagalog, get to my home page and um, you will find this playlist that I am recommending with you. So to wrap up this episode, this is what I'd like to tell you as a teacher in Tagalog. The best thing that I like to do here is not just providing you information. I want a genuine connection. So I look forward to reading your comments. I look forward to spending time with you, especially when I return to live tutoring. I care about you who have already subscribed. I really, really wish to see the end results of my labor. I wish to see you engage in a conversation with Filipino citizens. I also wish that you'll be able to read Filipino literature, not the Taglish type, not the mainstream type, but those stuff that tackle social issues so that later on we'll be able to turn the world of Filipinos upside down. Let me enumerate one more time these tips that I'm sharing with you. First, Listen and imitate the sound of Tagalog. Second, read and watch Tagalog short stories that interest you. Third, practice Tagalog through pictures. Fourth, grow your Tagalog vocabulary. Fifth, immerse in Tagalog language. And most importantly, never hang up on Tagalog grammar. And this has been Albine. Thank you for being here with me. I will see you next episode. I'm sending love, healing, protection, joy. 
happiness your way. Mabuhay, mag-ingat, magkita tayong muli.